to YouTubers. Uh, today I had a chance to visit my favorite <clears throat> local tobacconist, that's Pipe Puffer, located in Greenwood, Indianapolis. Actually, Greenwood, Indiana. And uh, they had these little grab bags out there. And they're a little over two ounces a piece, and they're only a dollar. So I grabbed three. And uh, what I have for you is, um, I'm kind of gravitating more towards English tobaccos and stuff like that, but I did uh, pick up some aromatic, and the first one is mango. It's a private stock. They call it uh, SPS number four. And two big uh, 503 heavy English. Two of those. I just got through smoking not too long ago, so I won't be able to smoke in this video. I just wanted to share that with you. That's not bad. Three dollars for a little over six ounces of uh, tobacco. That's not bad. And my favorite current tobacco right now going out. This is the uh, the Hardy Four. It's four different types of Latakia. It's 100% Latakia, and it's just unbelievably amazing. I love this. I'm gonna smell it again for you guys. I mean, for myself, but I just I can't I can't get enough of it. Ah, that's awesome. Kind of reminds me of when I used to climb the rope in gym class. All right, I'm gonna do a side by side comparison. I'm gonna stand up, show you guys these pipes, and. I'm going to go ahead and tell you what, I'm not trying to be, you know, whatever this conveys, whether it's braggatory or what you, you guys want to refer to it as. Hold on one second. But I just want to let you guys know the deals that are out there. I bought both of these pipes at the exact same spot as I get up. We've got a bunch of uh, humidification devices laying all around me, so i got to be careful. Uh, I bought both of these same pipes at the exact same location. One was an estate pipe, and the other was, was a brand new pipe. Not to add or take away from any of these, these are both Dutch made pipes, I love them very much. Uh, here we go. Alright. The first pipe I bought, let me come down to your guys' level now, I'm just kidding. The first pipe I bought was a, was a, uh, Yarn a Giant. I bought this about a year and a half ago. I paid three hundred dollars for this. Now two eighty. After taxes, it's close to three hundred dollars. I think the list price on this was two hundred eighty dollars. Uh, it, it is a giant size pipe. A little over seven inches in length. It's got a huge bowl. I guess you guys some better lighting. Big pipe, 280. I spoke to the experts and a lot of friends on YouTube and stuff, and from the pipe website that I go to, that says a little bit overpriced. I shouldn't, I shouldn't gave anywhere. I should probably spent 200 max. So I, 80, 85 dollars overpriced. The second pipe I picked up the other day, Ben Wade freehand, right at six and a third, a little, a little over six inches in length. Um, a big bowl, but not nearly as big as the Bjarne. You guys can't see it. I feel like I'm a fucking, I don't know why, I feel like I'm fucking up or something, you know what I mean? I feel like I'm on charades. I'm like that guy. No, but, um, obviously you're going to smoke a little bit longer. $56 for the Ben Wade. $280 for the Bjarne. Both are great pipes. Bjarne is probably my favorite pipe maker. But they're both relative in size. Here we go. This is, this is a little better. $56 
see what I mean? So now that I look like a complete and total jackass, I need to do that sometimes to get my point across. But there are deals out there. You can get them. Estate, brand new, 280, 56 bucks. Shop around. Do yourself a favor. Find great deals. They are out there. This was a very impulsive decision. I do not regret buying this pipe. Close to $300 in price. Almost two years ago or so. This was a thought out decision. I researched this on the internet. I found out what this pipe went for. $56, that's not too bad. I've seen this pipe on eBay go for $100. This pipe is cosmetically in excellent condition. The only thing bad about this pipe is that on the bit, it's a little bit tarnished. But I'm going to get that taken care of. And by the time I get the bit taken care of in the pipe itself, I still won't have it. And I won't have the money invested, half the money I have invested in that yard. Great pipes. Love them. Do yourself a favor. You owe it to yourself. Save money when you can. And spend it when you want to. Not when you have to. Because I had to have a cool pipe. I had to have a giant pipe, so I went out and got the giant. <clears throat> Spent a little bit more money. Long story short, I'm happy, but I saved a lot more money. So I can buy three or four pipes, three or four of these, to get one of these. I love them both. This is probably the best view you'll see. Yarn is a little bit longer. So anyway, thanks for watching. This is going to be the first take, first cut. I'm not going to do any editing. I'm just going to put all this shit together and hopefully it comes out right. But <laughs> I can't even believe I'm doing it. But yeah, that's that's the case. Thanks for watching and as always, keep puffing.